do see a lot of photos of African Americans from World War II and also Vietnam, but you know, rarely do you see black soldiers in Minnesota. So this is the 25th Infantry um, in their picture here at 1883. Here they're just stationed in guard, so they're not in theater, they're not in war, but they're actually guarding at Fort Snelling. Teaching. Yeah, <laughs> I try to. Is in Jokita Bell's DNA, but the lesson plans for her next class. From statehood to World War II, Minnesota's black past and photographs. Will follow some of the history of African Americans in Minnesota. The idea followed dozens of comments from strangers. As I travel a lot, I get this weird question of like, oh, there are black people in Minnesota? And it's like, yeah, there are, and we've been here for a while, and we have deep roots here too. Now, about 20 photos ranging from the mid-1800s to 1945 will be featured in an upcoming exhibit at Artista Bottega in St. Paul. Bell, who has a master's degree in history, said the exhibit will introduce people to the social, economic, and cultural development of early black Minnesotans, some who blazed trails like George Bonga. George Bonga, again, he was a fur trader in the late 1800s. Um, not only was he a fur trader, but he also signed a couple of treaties uh, with the U.S. government in the Ojibwe. Some say Bonga is the first person of African-American descent born in the state. Bell says the range of photos will represent black life in Minnesota. For example, the exhibit will highlight the first black woman to practice law, and it will showcase pictures from the state fair in the 1900s, like this one. The women that we have were actually just there enjoying the fair, and they were like dressed to the nines, hats, very like, very glamorous dresses basically, and, and not just glamorous, but dresses that were very, representative of the style of the time as well. Styles have changed, but other things remain the same. This photo I love. It's a group at um, Minnehaha Falls. Something we still like to do as Minnesotans, like if you go on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see, especially during the winter, the frozen falls. It's one of the oldest photos we have in the exhibition, so it's about 1875. I want them to walk, walk away knowing that the roots of African Americans in Minnesota is deeper than, you know, the 18, the 1980s or like even the 1950s. Now that exhibit will run the first five days of April. And if you're wondering why not February, well, the nonprofit organization hosting the exhibit says it's their goal to share history throughout the year. And we had some difficulties at the top of that story. This project is sponsored by the African American Interpretive Center of Minnesota. So cool. How, how could 